Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would be seeing on tasks in Crew AI. So we'll cover all the topics related to tasks and what we can do with the tasks and what we need to be aware of in tasks in Crew AI. Okay. So we know like to create a project in Crew AI, we have to run this command in the command prompt and it will ask what kind of LLM and in that LLM what is the model you are using and all those details. And once you do that, a project gets created like this. So once the project gets created, you can open it in VS code. And then we know the first thing we do is we declare agents and the respective tasks for those agents. That's what we do in Crew AI. If you want to know more details about what is agent and how, what we need to do in the YAML file and all, you can watch my first introductory video. I've explained very clearly. The requirement for this uh, video is like, I want to analyze the csv data and i'll be asking some questions and i'll be using the tool uh, csv tool from crew ai only using the tool i'll be just analyzing the csv file so we know like to create an agent we need to give the agent name in the yaml file and we have to give role goal and backstory that's what i have given for that and i came to the tasks and in the tasks i have given the task name the description and to which agent it is mapped to and what is the expected output i just gave like the response should have the college name and a clear and concise response to the user's query this is the query we are dynamically passing so this is how we declare the tasks right in crew ai so we have a yaml file and inside which we'll declare all the tasks whatever we want if i show you the, my previous example which i have worked on before now if i come to config inside the task you can declare multiple tasks as well so i mean the, if you want the output like this you can just mention the format as well you will get the output in that format only what is the expected output what is the description what is the task needs to do and if you are dynamically passing anything you have to keep them in brackets. that's the major thing we need to know and once we have declared the task now the next thing we have to do is go to crew.py file here we create the agents and tasks that's it so we create a class here decorate it with crew base that's it and first i created agent and inside the agent i am passing the configuration of the yaml file and i am creating another method with the decorator task and i am returning a class of type task and with few arguments the name the config is nothing but the yaml file and the tools this particular task needs to use and what is this tool it is using this is using csv search tool this is from crew ai tools module only so i just need to give the path of the uh, csv file to this tool that's it and now that is how we declare the tasks and we can give some other parameters also i'll explain one by one parameter but before that i'll show you my previous project and here if i go to my crew.py i have three agents and each agent has a specific task here so and if you see i have an extra parameter here called context and what this context does is it will take the output of the previous task as a input to this particular task see what am i passing here i am just passing the method name so the output of this task will be given as input to this task like that so if in case if you want if you have multiple tasks where in the first task you are gathering information from the internet and in the second task, it has to use that gathered information and create some kind of blog or something. In that case, you need the input of the, you need the input to the second task from the first task only. So that time you have to just give the first task name here or the method name of the first task. That's it. So this is one way. In case if you want to save the output in some file, you can give the another, we have option to give another parameter called output file. So it will give, save this output of this task in this uh, file with this file name that's it so here i just wanted to use a csv tool that's it i've used the csv tool and i am just creating another method called crew and it returns that of class of type crew and it, it takes all the arguments what are all the agents we have what are all the tasks we have and it's a sequential process one after the other right now i have only one task so i, I don't need this as well verb was equal to true for logging so this i have created everything in the crew.py file now if i go to the main.py file if you see i'm just taking the query and input parameter and if you see the input parameter it is asking what is the name of the student who won the cups in last few years from iit delhi so in my csv data if you see iit data has three arguments 
and one is like just participation only this particular person but here they want the silver and here they want the gold so it should return these two rows when i ask that question so i am just asking that question and now i am calling my method which is nothing but the crew method from this specific class crew a task that's that's what i am doing here dot crew and to trigger we have to use dot kick off method that's what we are doing and we are just passing this particular query and be, and this particular query will be appended here wherever we have this so this is how we create the task and we trigger the code in crew a that's it so now i have the task ready so if i want to run i'll do crew a run that's it now i should get the output of those two rows let's see what will be my output see the final answer has two rows one is gold another is silver that's it and we said it has to give the institute name also so it gave like that so this is to just get the response from the specific task uh, in the normal text format what if you want to parse it in with some pedantic class or what if you want to get the response as a json format even then that can be done so let's see how we can fetch this particular response instead of just plain text as some json or as a pedantic class that's it so to do that first we have to go to that specific task and we have to enable this particular parameter here output pedantic equal to output here so what is this output this is in this is a class inherited with the base model class and it has two arguments college string query response that's it so now i'll just save this and now if i come here to the main.py file and and i can i'll just uncomment all these three and here from the result we can just fetch the college name the query response directly so because if you see i am asking the task i am i am give i am manipulating the task to return the output in this format with these two arguments only so we can read those two arguments directly and these are the three approaches with which we can do we can just do result of the key name or else you can use result dot pedantic dot key name or else you can use convert the result to a dictionary and use result of the key name these are the three ways now let's see what is the output so let me run it again let me clear the output and run it if you see so we got the output as a college name and the query response so this is one way to get the response from a specific task uh, using the pedantic way you can even you do the same with the json we, we can even get the response in the json format as well not just in the pedantic way so i'll just uncomment this and now i'll just uncomment this that's it now i'll go to crew.py and here i'll i'll change this key i don't want this output pedantic instead i'll use output json that's it now if i clear it and if i run the code again i should get the response in the json format not in the pedantic way if you see we got the response in the json format right if you see here we got the response in the json format and we have read this based on the keys so we got the output like this so this is another way to get the response as a json format from a specific task that's it and also in case if you want to call a specific method after a specific task has been completed you can even do that as well if you see callback is a parameter for which we need to pass the method name so i'll just uncomment this and if you see callback function if you see you can do any kind of things you can send an email or you can update the database once the task has been triggered something like that right now i'm just executing a print statement of the output that's it so now when i just clear it again and when i run it if you see uh, it has printed right task completed task 
the output as we asked in the json format it came in the json format that is how we can um, manipulate the output of any task in the way we want right we it, it supports two ways one is pydantic and another is json now if you see i'll just wanted to show you one last thing here if you see here if you see see we are triggering that uh, method crew method inside which we are mapping all the agents and tasks and you know like in crew a we have to use dot kick off and pass the parameters whatever we want if you don't have any parameters just remove pass with the empty braces that's it so now if you see with this instance we were able to get all the task information as well you can get the information of the task and you can use it somewhere for applying some kind of logics if you see i'm just using this instance and right now i have only one task in my code so this for loop iterates only one times and once it iterated it, here if you see i'm accessing the to directly access the output you don't want all these pydantic and uh, you don't want all this json format you just want to access the plain text information you can just use the task dot output you will get that and now if you see task dot output dot description so inside this task output we we can we will have multiple parameters which we can access so we can get the description of the task we can get the summary of the task we can get the plain output of the task plain text so when you do task output dot raw it prints the response okay now if you want to know the agent name you can even do that as well so if you want to know the task name you can just use task dot name if you want to know the agent which is triggering this task you can use this task output dot agent that's it so you can just iterate with this instance and get some kind of information from the task along with the output in the plain text you can do any kind you can get some more information like the description of the task the summary of the task which we have given here right this kind of information that's it so let me uncomment this i don't want it in this format that's it i i don't want this as well let me comment this as well now let me save this file and let me clear it and run it now we will see the output so i mean what i'm trying to say is we can access some more information with the instance which we have created here that's it so uh, right now i the response is not in the json format right so we can't access the college name and all because if you see here i have commented this so it will be in the plain text that's why it threw an error so let me clear it see if you see the response we got in the plain text format that's it and if you see the task summary read and understand user query and process user queries read and understand user query and process user query that's what we have given in the description so that's what we got it here the output in the plain text format what is the agent it is using so this is will be there in the agent this one this one that's it what is the name of the tasks the result and everything so this is how so i mean these are all the informations which we can access from the tasks in crew ai from this tasks which we written here from this task that's it i mean as i already explained before in case if you want to pass the information from one task to another you have to use this particular parameter context equal to and the method name this is the first method name see this one and again the second task the third task should use the second task name that's what i have the requirement you can watch my previous video that's it and in case if you want to save the output in some particular file you can just pass this particular parameter as well so these are all the things which we need to know in tasks in crew ai that's it thank you so much for watching